so in a past video, I went through three, six, two, five um, turnarounds that you can use for like a jazzy or a jazzed up 12 bar blues. Um, and then I went through a whole bunch of substitutions that you can, or modifications on the three, six, three, six, two, five that you can use. Um, so just as a refresher, the three, six, two, five goes E minor seven to A seven, D minor seven to G seven to C seven. Now that's effectively a secondary 2-5 to a primary 2-5 to a 1. Now in this video I wanted to show you a few turnarounds that effectively reverse that. Instead of going the secondary 2-5 to the primary 2-5, you play the primary 2-5 to the secondary 2-5 and then to the 1. Now that sounds a little bit sort of stranger. It sounds a bit more um, foreign and a bit more unexpected uh, in a turnaround. Whereas if you play something like this, that really, that chord progression is really implying that you're heading towards the C and that the next chord should be the tonic or the root chord, the C in this case. If you reverse that, you get rid of that sort of implication and you can sort of almost go, you're almost going somewhere else, but then you go back to the C. So the it'll sound something like this. Now a good way of playing that is to do a D minor seven flat five to the G seven, then an E minor seven to the A seven, and then to the C. So the last four bars of a 12 bar blues would then, with that turnaround, would then sound something like this. And then you keep on improvising. Right, so that's nice and easy. You're effectively reversing the um, sequence of the two fives. Right, and so naturally you can also use some chord substitutions to make that same chord progression a little bit more complex, a little bit more interesting. So, for example, you can use tritone substitutions. So instead of playing the D minor 7, you can play an A flat 7. And instead of playing an E minor 7, you can play a D flat 7. So both of those are tritone substitutions. So then if you do that, you have A flat seven, moving to G seven, moving to B flat seven, moving to A seven, and then you go to the C for your next 12 bar blues progression. So again, the last four bars of a 12 bar blues would sound something like this. so on. Now the last turnaround I'm going to show you in this lesson uses a similar idea but kind of changes around that chord progression a bit. Instead it goes C major 7 to F7 to E minor 7 to A7. So that last pass is the same. You're still going E minor 7 to A7 at the end. But instead of playing the 2-5, um, you're playing a 1-4. Now that is a bit different. Um, you can sort of think about it, I suppose, as a the 1's the 1. You can play a major 7 or a dominant 7 if you like. Um, I played the major 7 that time. But the 4 chord is, in a sense, a substitute for the 2. The D minor 7 has those notes, you're effectively dropping the D and adding a E flat. Um, so that's, I suppose, a little bit of logic behind that, but really it's just a little bit of a different chord progression. So the last four bars of a 12 bar blues using that turnaround would sound something like this. So that is another sort of collection of turnarounds that you can use that sort of 
deviates a bit from the standard 3625 or 1625 that is sort of a bit of a cliche um, in the jazz world. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave any comments or questions. See ya!